Okay, so when we're finding an area of a parallelogram, we're really not doing too much that you haven't already done. So we kind of start with an area of a, a square or a rectangle. And you probably remember how to find the area of a square or a rectangle. It's just length times width. And when we want a parallelogram, what we want, we, we're just going to cut off a piece of that square and add it on over here. And when we do that, we get this nice parallelogram when we cut it off. So to find the area of a parallelogram, really it's just the same as finding the area of a rectangle. The only difference is our shape is going to look different. So we have to watch for this line. This line tells us that this is the height and where the square is, that that is the base. So our base is always where that line is connecting to an edge. And then our height is always going to be that dotted line there. And we can turn our, rec our parallelogram, excuse me, we can rotate it any which way, but it doesn't matter. We're always going to use that same thing. So we're going to write down our formula, which is base times height. And I always like to write area equals base times height. It just helps you get into practice for older grades. Then we multiply the base by the height. In this case, our base is six and our height is five. So six times five. And then we put our answer, area equals and then six times five we know is 30 and we're measuring in centimeters. So we always make sure to put the units and the squared. If you're stuck on how to get that little two in there when you're working in Google Slides, you're gonna go up to insert and you're gonna go to, oh, sorry, I'm not clicked into a text box. Okay, insert and then you're gonna go to special characters and you get a ton here. The one you want is symbol and math which is alphanumeric, which just means numbers and letters. And if I choose this, I can choose a three or a two. So if I choose a two, I don't have to do anything more. It automatically puts it right in there for me and I close it and I'm done. If you don't want to do that every time, what I have done when I've built these is copy and paste that text, put it below, and then I can change the answer to say like 12 and I still have my units. But watch that you keep the units the same. So for example, this is centimeters. What if my question said meters? I need to delete this. So just double check that. And that's it guys. Area of a parallelogram is actually one of the easiest ones to find. It's just base times height. 